Hello there and welcome to the MicroStation Connect Edition visualization video series. My name is Steve Rick, Senior Consultant with Bentley Systems. Today's video is on the relighting option inside of the rendering dialog box. When we come up into MicroStation, you can see that we're going to be in a camera view. What we want to do is launch the rendering dialog. So that's under the rendering group, render scene. As always, when we bring up the rendering dialog, the last rendering that we have done is going to be showing in the box. The setting that we're going to take a look at is this setting right up on top here called relighting. Check that box before we render, then we have some options for relighting and I will explain. Go ahead and close the render dialog box. Let's go to light manager. In the lighting group, go to manage. What happens is when we choose the option for relighting and then render our scene, all the lights that are turned on in my light setup will be transferred over to the relighting option. In this instance, ambient and solar would be here. Whether ambient is on or off, ambient gets sent over anyway, but none of my source lighting will be here. So we're going to switch our light setup tonight. And what it has done is it's turned off ambient and solar and turned on all of our source lighting. So these are all the spots lights, the can lights, the area lights that light up the area inside our drawing as well as outside. You can see the lights turn tonight. It looks kind of dark on the screen, but that's okay. And then we're going to do an interior scene so we can see the lights a little bit better. So the next thing that we're going to do is once we switch tonight, we are going to go to the view tab. And we are going to load the Save Views dialog box. We're going to do this on an interior scene so we can see all the lights on the interior. We're going to double click on View of Interior 1 and then left click in the screen. And that will bring us inside the building. And then we can close out the Save View dialog box. Now we can see all of the can lights and some spotlights. You can see some hot spots inside of here. But after we render, we really can't do much with lights unless we use the relighting dialog box. So now that we have our scene set up, we can go ahead and start to render this. Let's go back to the Home tab. We are going to go to Render Scene. Whatever we have active as our light setup, which is night right now, it's going to be our active light setup. All we have to do is turn on relighting. And then we're going to render this scene. Okay, now that we have rendered our scene, we have the relighting option turned on. Let's see what magic happens after we do our rendering. Over on the right hand side of the dialog box here, there's a little arrow. Go ahead and expand that arrow. Click on the relighting tab, and you can see all the lights that were turned on in our scene. If we scroll down to the bottom, you can see that ambient has come over as well. Let's take a look at the industrial lighting. The industrial lighting are the center sets of lights that are shining down on the floor. We can turn lights on and off. We can act on lights individually or in a group. I'm going to turn this light off. That's that light. You saw that light turn off. Let me scroll down a little bit more. So you see that light go off here? There, it came back on. That's closest to us, so we can see that the best. So you can see we can turn lights on and off after the rendering is done. And then I can also adjust the brightness if I want that to be brighter up there. You can see the splash on the wall get a little bit brighter. If I want to set it back to what came out of MicroStation, I can just highlight that number and type in a 1, set it back to 1. I can change the color of the light. Now the light changes, set that back to white. And if I want to act on lights as a group, I can do that as well. So I'm going to come up here to the top of my list and grab all of the industrial lights. So all you have to do is highlight your first one. 
and then hold your control key down and you can select multiples. So I'm going to select all the industrials. Those are the center lights there. And then let's turn them all off. So I can just click on one of them and it turns all of them off in the center. So I can act on lights as a group as well. I can turn them all back on. I can set their brightness to whatever I want. Again, I just have to type in one of them and it sets them all to 10. Or I can set them back to one. Or I can change their color. Turn them back to white. So that is relighting. Continue watching the videos and we'll see you guys later. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.